look at this. Right before Christmas, Target raises their prices on frozen vegetables from 79 cents to 99 cents. This is ridiculous. Good morning. Today we're here at Target. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so today is December 15th, 2022. We are a little more than a week away from Christmas, and we're trying to find some good holiday deals. Wanted to check out some of this stuff you guys have been asking about. I know there were a lot of complaints at Kroger. These are $3, $3 at Kroger. They are $2.69 here. Um, $2.69. And then they have the Libby's here, which we were talking about. This is $3.29 at Kroger right now. $3.29. $2.79 here. They have the Good and Gather brand for $1.59. We've got some good comments on that. And if you're looking for the Toll House morsels, they do have them on sale here for $2.49 at Target. Regular price $2.79, but digital coupon $1.99 this week at Kroger. So a little bit of a better deal there. It's kind of surprising. Well, maybe not too surprising, but prices have been going up everywhere. And it's the week before Christmas here. I just... It's kind of sad to see like some of these things go up in price right before Christmas, but they do have the King Arthur all-purpose flour, $5.59. That is up from $5.39, so that's a 20, 20 cent increase there. They do have the Good and Gather flour for $2.49. This is the wheat flour, though. I think this is $1.99. Let's see a price here. Oh, no, $2.39. That went up. This was $1.99. Now it's $2.39. Ugh. Uh, let's see. They do have the Good & Gather cooking oil, $3.69. $5.49 for the Mazzola oil. Crisco's $5.99 here. That's the most expensive we've seen it. And the canola is $6.29. Again, this is something that you may want to take a picture of because the prices of these have been going up on Crisco. But they are still $5 a piece right now at Kroger. And pretty much $5 everywhere. We saw they were $4.98 at Walmart, so... Yeah, this is the most expensive we've seen it after all the sales and everything at Kroger. These are going to be like $7 a piece. Looking behind me here, I noticed that they raised their prices on the Ben's Original Ready Rice. Also, the most expensive that we have seen anywhere. $2.79. Now, Kroger's regular price, theirs went up too. They were both $2.49. These were $2.49. This went up to $2.79. Kroger's is going to be $2.59 now. $2.59. But... They have a digital coupon going on this week at Kroger for $1.50. You can use up to five times. Be a good time to get to Kroger and get some of these. We are always getting comments on Ben's Original Ready Rice, especially this one right here. I'm actually surprised they have any. I noticed they raised their prices on the rice aroni too. These were $1.29. $1.29 here at Target. We were showing that these were some of the cheapest after the big price increases on them. Sometimes you can find them four for five dollars at Kroger, but that's far and few between anymore. $1.49 a piece now for this. This is a 50% price increase on this in over a year. So we've been getting more and more comments on rice and they do have some here. It's actually more than they had the last time we were here. They got some of the dry beans down here too. Each of these are a pound, $1.29. Those are the same price as they've been. Um, but they've got varieties. Some people are asking about lentils. They got the dry black beans here, the chickpeas, pinto beans, and they got some other rice options here. Got the long, uh, long grain white rice here, dollar fifty nine. Seems like more than a pound. Yeah, that's two pounds there. And then they have the jasmine rice good together, which we've gotten some good comments on. This is two pounds as well, for two dollars and fifty nine cents. Maybe not the cheapest. Okay price, maybe not the cheapest, but it's definitely not the most expensive we've seen. And good to see another option here at Target. They do have a couple one pound bags of rice too. The long grain brown rice here, 89 cents a bag, 89 cents a pound for the smaller, just one pound. Um, yeah, the enriched long grain white rice there. Okay, so here we go. Uh, definitely a lot of salt here, and this is one thing I wanted to point out because we've been getting a lot of comments lately that a lot of your stores across the country have been very low or out of a lot of spices you need, and we've had uh, some comments that some people haven't been able to find salt. Target is another option. They have the Morton salt here. It's $1.19. 
good and gather just as good 60 cents right there and, and we'll be seeing more and more products that you'll probably be surprised about here at target that most people don't even know about uh, i'd be surprised how many people i talk to that don't even know some of the good and gather products um and their spices yeah they're a little more expensive but they have it right because last year when we couldn't find any spices in the stores we were telling people to go to target and a lot of people did uh, they were out of salt and pepper right before Thanksgiving last year. They've got it in, it, you know, two forty nine for the two pack or no? That's just one. Yeah, that's just one for two forty nine. They got the two packs. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, maybe they're maybe they're out of them. Wanted to backtrack for a second. Check out the sugar here. They are two ninety nine for four pounds. That's, you know, it keeps going up everywhere. Still, surprisingly, the cheapest that we have seen. Sugar has been Aldi. Four pounds for two dollars and seventy-five cents. So I don't know. That's been the cheapest one, but they do have a couple things on here. Some people were talking about Truvia. Got eighty packets of Truvia here for five ninety-nine. Don't know if that's that great of a deal. Regular price though, six fifty-nine. So a little bit cheaper than what Target normally carries it for. I feel like it's a real give and take with some stores these days. So the tomato and chicken noodle soup cans here the 10.5 ounce cans of Campbell's are $1.39 $1.29 at Kroger so 10 cents less at Kroger however all the other ones here are $1.79 all of these at Kroger are $1.89 so if you like anything else other than tomato or chicken noodle then Target's the place to go because you're going to save 10 cents on every one of these cans I still, even $1.79, I think it's ridiculous for some of these, this is, these prices on Campbell's is crazy. So canned tomatoes has been an issue again. We've been getting more and more comments on it. Do want to point out that they do have Good & Gather. We've used these before. They have the diced, uh, you know, I kind of compare this to Members Mark from Sam's Club. I think they taste very similar. Um, 99 cents a can here of the Good and Gather, though. I, I, it's a good brand, and they also have the Petite Diced here for 85 cents. Some good, cheap options, like stuff like this, though. I don't know, like this is a dollar 19. That seems a bit extreme. Um, they do have the tomato sauce here for 49 cents a can, but yes, you know, just like that. I don't know, that that's a bit much. I know we can find tomato paste still for under a dollar at some places, but. Uh, they got Hunts here. These are $1.39 a can. And they do have the bigger cans here. A little, uh, well, I guess the Crushed is $1.89. $2.19 for the big can of tomato sauce. I don't see the, the whole tomatoes that everybody always asks about. Had some comments that people have been having trouble finding pizza sauce. We really haven't had that issue here. Um, and they only have a few different options here. But I did want to point out that we have heard that the Good & Gather brand, again, another Target brand, $1.49 and it's really good. People have been saying it's really good. We've never used it, but we've gotten in the comments it's good. Uh, they got the Ragu pizza sauce and the Rayos if you want to get really fancy. $5 for a bottle though. Been getting comments on Prego. Um, they don't carry too much here at Target, but it has been lower in some places. It is $2.39 here now. That's up from $2.19. This used to be uh, for a while here, this was uh, cheap because um, we've been seeing it go up at other places. We've seen it as for $2.49, as high as $2.59 for Prego. Prego's getting a little expensive. Um, Ragu's a little cheaper, still $1.99. Uh, and they've got the Classico here on sale. Regular price on this? No, it's not Classico. Classico's $2.69. This is the Bertoli. Buy one, get one, 25% 25, 25 off there, so... I got some of them here on sale for $2.99, down from $3.29. Wow, good sale on Progresso Soups, $1.99 a can. Also with Campbell's here, they have you have to buy five of them, but you get them for $2 a can, five for 10. It's a great deal. So if you are enjoying our videos, don't forget to subscribe down below. We put these videos out every morning to help save you money in the grocery stores. Had some more comments on the Tuna Creations by Starkist. Uh, going up in price, um, yes, they are $1.89 now at Kroger, which is insane. Uh, because of that price hike, I would definitely take a picture of this, but it is $1.49 here. You know, and you want to take a picture in case, you know, make sure you get it for what they put the sticker out here for. 
Um, and they have some other options here, the Wild Caught Abacor for $1.99. But yeah, still $1.49 here. Not as many options as what they have at like Kroger, but definitely 40 cents cheaper. So they got an okay deal on the Kraft Mayo here on sale for $3.99, down from $4.39. And they have the olive oil version uh, down to $3.99. Miracle Whip here is $5.49. Regular price at Kroger is $6.29. They do have a bit of a sale going on this week. Um, but I wanted to check out the distilled white vinegar here. We've got more comments that this vinegar has been, I guess, running out. Uh, a lot of people said that they haven't been able to find any. They are $3.99 for the big jug of the Good & Gather brand here. Also, while we're here, I wanted to point out the apple cider vinegar. Um, you know, they've got it. But this is another thing. When you see it, you might want to pick it up because we've gotten comments from all over the country that one day you'll have it and then it'll be gone. Uh, it was like that here about a month ago. I could I was looking for people, couldn't find any of the apple cider vinegar, and then it just started coming back in. Um, so there's something to think about, you know, as we get a little closer to the holiday or even beyond that. They do have the different varieties of stovetop down here on sale for $1.99. These are going to be $2.49 after the sale. Pretty much $2 everywhere we're going right now. Um, and they do have the buttery homestyle uh, Idaho and potatoes. This is the bigger family bag for $2.69. They have a bunch of the smaller ones back in. They, these were wiped out the last time we were here. Uh, they are $1.39 a piece. They're four for five right now at Kroger. You do not have to buy four, though. You can just get them for $1.25 a bag. So it is about 15 cents cheaper there than here. But this is pretty much the going regular price for these now everywhere. Wanted to kind of look at some of the good and gather uh, canned vegetables here. These are 55 cents a can, guys, and these are good. Um, you know, we see that most of these, like corn, green beans, peas, Kroger brand has gone up to 89 cents a can. Now, Meyer has them right now, if you can find them, for 39 cents a can of the Meyer brand, which is amazing. But if you can't and you still want to save money, you know, 55 cents a can for these, and this is a good product. I also, uh, they have a couple of them on sale at Walmart rollback offers for the corn and the green beans. The peas, I think, are still 58 cents. Uh, but 58 cents a can regular price at Walmart, but a couple of them are on sale for 50 cents a can, so you may want to check that out. But... If you don't have Walmart close and you got Target, this is another good option here. Even though they're a little pricier, we've gotten great comments on some of these organic beans and stuff. Um, the Good & Gather products really have had not many, uh, I don't even know if we've had any bad complaints on Good & Gather products. Uh, but they got the chickpeas here. Somebody was asking about this a while back. They got the Good & Gather here. This is 85 cents. Now this isn't organic, but um, let's see. Black beans, low sodium, that would be this one, 85 cents here. Uh, you know, some good options here, guys. That's why we come to Target, so that we can show that if we can't find good prices, you know, I was pretty disappointed with some of the prices we saw at Kroger the other day, right before Christmas. Now, we know we're not going to get a huge amount of savings here at Target, but, you know, 30, 35 cents, 34 cents cheaper a can on their store brand compared to Kroger's when it comes to canned vegetables. Well, you guys are right. Uh, a couple of you were telling us to keep an eye out on the frozen fruits. That they were going to be going up in price. Yeah, uh, last time we checked on this stuff, it was under $4 a bag. Now we got some of them. Mango chunks here, $4.29, $4.19 for a couple bags here. Dragon fruit. They still have this, the strawberries here for $3.49, but I kind of question the sticker though. Um, and for the pineapple chunks for $2.79, I question that as well. Um, but yeah, some one of them down here for three nineteen. I have a feeling that those have gone up too. They may just not have changed the stickers. I will say that the triple berry blend though has been thirteen forty nine for a little while. She used to be eleven ninety nine, but it's gone. It's been a while. Forty eight ounces for thirteen forty nine. But you guys are right. They're definitely going up in price. Yeah, I was just kind of walking by. We usually get comments on these right before the uh, school season starts, like around mid August. Just noticed these went up in price. These were $3.99. Now $4.29. And for the big one here, 15 of them used to be $11.99. Now it's $13.99. So I don't know. Uh, yep, Incrustables is going up. Well, I got to say, nothing really bothers me more when I come up to the number one thing that I wanted to showcase here at Target was their vegetables, their frozen vegetables being $0.79 cents a bag. 
99 cents a bag. Crazy. I just don't understand. Why wouldn't you wait until after Christmas, maybe after the new year, for these crazy price hikes? That's 20 cents a bag. Like now, okay, yeah, it's still cheaper than Kroger. Kroger's is $1.25 a bag, but I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm starting to wonder if all these stores got together and they said, you know what, Christmas is coming up here next week. Let's raise all these prices. You know, we saw the same thing at Kroger. You know, if, there, if I had to pick a store that wins this week, it is Meyer. Meyer has stepped up to the plate. They've got great deals. You know, don't, don't get me wrong. Kroger's got some good deals going on too this week. But Myers has those turkeys for 55 cents a pound. No, no extra purchase required or anything. 79 cents a pound uh, hams. No, you know, no having to use digital coupons or any of that stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know about birds. I sorry guys, that, that really irks me. Like I was excited to show the cheapest vegetable, frozen vegetables in the city, and you know it goes up, it goes up in price. It's it's every day, guys, every day. It's frustrating. Frustrating because I'm trying to find great deals, trying to find good deals for you guys so that you can save money on your meals for Christmas and everything. And these stores are raising the prices right from underneath us. You know, and I, I just, I don't know. It, it, it's disturbing, you know, it's frustrating. Okay, so they do have the Good and Gather frozen turkey breast here, $1.49 a pound. That's pretty good for turkey breasts. We saw it's two forty nine dollars a pound at Kroger um, for their cheapest one. And then, let's see, we got Butterball turkeys and Honeysuckle whole turkeys frozen. For Both of them are $1.19 a pound. Good to see that they actually have turkeys. Uh, we didn't see any whole turkeys. We saw a few fresh turkeys at Kroger the other day. Uh, we will be going to Kroger Marketplace tomorrow, so we'll check out some of the whole turkey prices. Uh, 55 cents a pound for a Meyer turkey. So they do have some of Target's Market Pantry hams here. Now these are $1.29 a pound. We've pretty much seen these cheaper, uh, you know, if you like Market Pantry, that's one thing. Uh, but they have the Meyer hams. Uh, some of them are $0.79 cents a pound. And they have $0.79 cents a pound Cook's hams at Kroger and $0.89 cents a pound Kroger hams at Kroger. But uh, I remember a couple, few weeks ago, these were $0.89 cents a pound um, back up to $1.29 a pound. Eggs have gone up one dollar since the last time we were here. They were two ninety nine. Um, to be fair, they've gone up everywhere over the last couple weeks. They do have an eighteen count here for five seventy nine. I mean, you know, and, and we've been hearing that eggs have gone up like crazy all over the country. Uh, someplace, some of the some of the prices you guys have mentioned on eggs, I just I can't believe it. I can't believe our prices. Um, let's see, right next to that, let's check out the Philadelphia Cream Cheese. Been finding this on sale for like $1.99. Okay. Uh, no, those are for bagels. $1.99 for bagels. I don't even see them. Uh, Kraft Philadelphia Cream Cheese, $2.99 a brick. $2.99. So, you know, Kroger's has them for $1.99. I believe it's on a digital coupon, though. And I think Myers has theirs for $1.99 as well very low on milk this time around. You know, it does seem like they could, uh, what's surprisingly is the writer milk seems to be the lowest. They have the good and get it. Maybe they're just not getting that in a lot. Uh, they did finally raise the prices up on all the good and gather milk to $2.99. There was a while there when, uh, it was a dollar ninety nine, and then they had the wrong sticker on here. So they finally changed the stickers to two ninety nine. So at least they got that right. They're completely out of 2% milk did want to show they have some of these food saver products on sale this week they wanted to, we've been getting comments some people have been looking for food saver machines this might be the time to come to target uh this one right here is 150 dollars down to 99 dollars got this bigger one down here 229 dollars down to 169.99 and they have sales on some of the accessories and different well they're out of the multi-pack here not surprised um, you know, people have been buying this stuff up with food prices just going through the roof. People are, you know, wanting to make sure that it stays fresh as possible in the freezers. Also, if you're canning, we have been seeing a lot of prices going up on these. Go figure. Uh, they have been going up here at Target. Like this one was $13.99 not that long ago. Or $13.49, I mean. 
and it's gone up to $15.49, so that's up $2. This was $11.99. These were when we were talking about great prices at Target. $13.99 here now for this one, the 12 pint, 16 ounces. Um, this one's still the same price, $8.99 uh, for this one here, but yeah, we're, uh, well, they still got the, wait a minute, 12 pint, 16 ounces, $11.99. So what is this? Well, oh, ball clear, and this one is just the ball. Okay, I don't know. a yeah, different style. Um, yeah, still surprising. So still cheaper here than what the sale is at Kroger, surprisingly. They have a sale going on on these, but every one of these is cheaper, regular price. So I think Target is finally playing catch up when it comes to cereal here. Uh, so the cereal, the Raisin Bran here, the regular size box was $3.19, making it pretty cheap. I'm not really surprised this went up. Uh, $3.19 the last time we were here, $3.99. Now, a lot, a lot of price increases here at Target today, guys. I, I don't know if they just ran through and just started raising prices on everything. Uh, $6.19 for the mega size uh, cereal. I saw this at Walmart for $6.99, or $6.40, no, it was $6.48. 619 here so there's something a little cheaper um <laughs> i don't know i was expecting to come in here today with a lot of good news to show people and it's just i don't know it's been like everywhere else couple sales on coffee here they do have the duncan on sale for 7.99 uh, i believe that's 6.99 at kroger this week on a digital coupon uh starbucks 7.99 for the ground coffee here Duncan cold brew, two pitchers worth for $10. I don't really know if that is a good price. Uh, regular price on Folgers, even though they have really shrunk this Folgers and Maxwell House down. It is, this is it. This is all they carry now. That's crazy. Like one thing here. So, what? Oh, $14.49. Uh, but this is a bigger can. Okay. 25.9 ounce can for $14.49. Regular price of this is $12.49 at Kroger for 19.2 ounces. Um, and it's actually on sale at Kroger right now for the 19.2 ounces for $10.49. Surprisingly, the only Folgers that's on sale. Uh, regular price for the different uh, Folgers here. These are 25.9 ounce uh, things of it here too. $10.79. $11.49 regular price at Kroger. So... For regular price, Target wins, but the classic roast here, $10.59, regular price here for the 25.9 ounce. Uh, regular price for this one at Kroger is $10.99, so 50 cents cheaper than the other varieties. The Market Pantry pods of the Target brand went up again. These were $4.39. Now, mind you, these were $3.79 last year. $3.79. Yeah, I don't know if you've been on the channel a while. You remember the first time that I got this here? It was three dollars and seventy nine cents. It, it was okay. It wasn't great, um, but it was three seventy nine regular price. Now four ninety nine, four ninety nine. But it's gone up sixty cents just since the last time we were here. Um, I don't know if it's worth that. So it looks like Target is pretty much wiped out on water too. This is becoming a pretty crazy issue around the country. Not being able to get bottled water. I don't see any of the distilled water people were asking about. They do have some 32 packs of Ice Mountain. They also got Dasani here, two for 10 on that deal. Um, but they have Ice Mountain 32, uh, 32 of them for 6.69. Uh, Sam's Club was completely sold out of theirs, where they have 40 of them for 6.64. Um, so a little cheaper than that, plus you get an extra eight bottles, but at least they got it in here at Target. But yeah, I don't see any distilled water at all. Hey guys, well that was my trip to Target. Maybe I was a little harsh on the frozen vegetables going up in price. I'm not surprised at all. What I'm surprised about is that this is all happening right before Christmas. We are a week and two days away from Christmas here. And all these stores, including Target, which I did not expect that for Target, um are going up in price we saw at kroger you know it's like i wasn't going to be fooled by the things that are the digital coupons and some of the sales yes there are some good deals don't get me wrong but a lot of the things that you guys were asking about are the things that are going up in price and, and that's what's kind of frustrating and we're seeing a lot of the little things right we're see, seeing sales in one hand 
and rising prices in the other. This is why we talk about regular prices on things because that's what it's gonna be like if you don't get the sale that day or in a couple days. So yeah, a little frustrating to see another store go, go up in prices, massive price increases here at Target. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I didn't even get on video. We're gonna have to come back. There was just so much, a lot of other frozen products that have gone up in price. Um, we did, I covered the, uh, the frozen fruits. Those have gone up. No, thank you for that too, you guys who were mentioning that. Um, and they have gone up at Walmart too, not as much, but they've definitely gone up. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I'm out and always remember the adventure is out there. <laughs>